Okay, so for today's super mini Dollar Tree haul, what you're seeing on the table is actually like a fraction of what I actually have, but I'm not gonna show redundant items over and over again. Um, but I am getting ready to transition from Valentine's Day into St. Pat's Day core. So I figured, and then after that in Easter. So I figured I would kind of start showing more and more of what I've been hauling and what I plan to craft with in the upcoming days and weeks. So first up from their St. Patrick's collection itself are these 12 pack of foam shamrocks. Again, they're like about the size of my hand, like the palm part of my hand. And I will be using these on my garlands. Now on the back of them, I will be hot gluing um, pipe cleaners. Now these are just your normal, they call them chenille stems, whatever. There's 45 in a pack and I do try to match up the colors for my season. So for this one, I'll probably be using the greens and the yellows. Um, and I do cut them into like halves or quarters even. And I make lots of little picks that I can take on and off because I do reuse my garland and my mesh for other holidays. So those are my first two craft supplies. Next, I have this random scarf, which has this pretty green plaid and it's this fleece. And I'll be using this to cover a basket to make that basket a little bit more appropriate for St. Patrick's Day. So again, for a dollar, you actually get quite a bit of fabric. It's 59 inches long. So y'all do the math. That's a pretty sizable portion. Um, and I can probably do actually a few baskets with this. So I snagged one of those. Next up, um, I got a bunch of these bamboo wreath forms. Now they've had the willow wrap before, but I never see them in the 12 or 16 inches at my Dollar Tree. So I grabbed some of these 12 inch ones. Now I will caution you these, like the twine breaks apart really easily. So I actually wrap these usually with something else such as this garland. Um, and I have a few that are broken. So in the video that I make with these, I'll be showing how to fix that as well. So even if they're broken, not to worry, but I was just at my local thrift stores and they had a bunch of these for like 20 cents to like 70 cents, depending on the size and condition. So you can actually get the Dollar Tree bamboo wreath forms even cheaper if you go to a thrift store sometimes. Next up, um, speaking of the garland, they are bringing out all sorts of greenery garlands for spring. Both of these are a type of ivy. This one is like white tipped ivy and this one is just normal. Um, so I grabbed some of each of these and I sometimes will double these up, but for the purpose of my St. Pat's race, I'm gonna keep these as singles. And while we're talking about greenery, this is pretty normal for Dollar Tree greenery bouquets. These are also ivy leaves. I love ivy in case you can't tell. Um, and you get a, you get uh, six stems per little bundle. It's a pretty good amount. And there's usually three or four leaves per stem. These are great to cut apart. These are also great for like every season, spring, summer, even fall. You can mix these in with some pumpkins and it looks like a pumpkin patch. So an ivy leaf is a good shape to have. But the real crowning gem are these types of greenery picks. Now we've all seen the ferns that are big and kind of basic looking. I've never seen ferns like these at the Dollar Tree before. I looked up on their website and these are in fact new. You get five stems, but obviously this is like kind of a unique looking fern piece to each. These are plastic. These are not fabric, which means they will hold up really well outside if you decorate with floral outside like I do. So I snagged as many of these as I could find. And then this one may look really simple. It kind of looks like cilantro leaves to me, quite honestly. But this is actually a great Hobby Lobby dupe. There is a pick, or I should say more of a garland that, um, oh my goodness, I do not remember her name right now, but Traditions by the Seasons uses. And that garland is like 20 bucks a garland. And the picks are like five, six dollars a pick. This is a dollar. You could literally get 20 of, 20 of these and probably make an even bigger garland. So this is a great, great, great dupe. Um, so I totally recommend, and again, this is the hard plastic. Some people might not like the shiny. I feel like it makes these leaves look more real than the fabric leaves. So snagged a bunch of those as well. And then moving into spring, um, I grabbed some basic flower wood shapes, which I will again take my pipe cleaners and cut and cut a, uh, a piece of the pipe cleaner to attach to the back to use these as like a twist on accent to my garlands. 
but I got these so I could actually hot glue these butterflies. Um, it's four pieces to a pack, so I got two packs, and they're all just the same kind of monarchy style butterfly in different colors. But I figured these would be really pretty on an Easter and then transition to spring and maybe even summer garlands. So I, of course, snagged these. My store had so many of them. And then the last piece I'm going to actually unpackage, I guess, on camera. I got two more of these flags, but not in the same style. I got the gnome and I got the Our Farmhouse Chicken one, which they're already outside. But this, everyone's in love with lemons for this season. And this one says Home Sweet Home. And it has the blue gingham checks and the lemons. So I figured we would do a little on-camera unpackaging. I guess we'll just toss that to the side. Make it a mess here. And as you can see, it is really lightweight. And um, I can tell you that the other ones, once they're outside, these uh, creases do kind of go away. But for this one, this really caught my eye because this would even be cute to cut out and put in a frame or modge podge onto like a pizza pan round or something like that to make something else with. But the size is a really good size and they are really cute when they hang and fly in the wind. And even though this is out with spring, I honestly think this is perfect for summer and even transitioning through the whole summer. You could literally leave this out from after Easter all the way until, you know, August or September or whenever you transition to fall because it's just so bright and cheery and summery. So that is it for my little mini haul. And I hope you guys stick around for some craft with me videos. Thank you so much for coming by and I will see you again in the next one. Bye. Oh, and be sure to, if you like this, like and subscribe and comment. It definitely helps my, my algorithm and helps my channel to grow.